so we are in Adidas Santa Cruz, and um, we have Coach Ian uh, of CRZ Movie Sports to talk about what kind of shoes you can get if you are going to do running. So he's going to be discussing about the biomechanics of rubber shoes, so that you will have an idea what kind of rubber shoes you have to buy. Okay, so let's go to Coach Ian now. Okay. Sometimes then, uh, you know, the triathlon season opened up again. Yeah. Uh, shoe selection is very important. One of the things that we're looking for, if you notice in this particular uh, model, there's this super steep angle. Yep. So there's a very specific reason why it's like that. If you compare this with, let's say, this. If you notice, this one has a flatter profile. Oh, yeah, totally. Okay? Yep. So, like... For CRZ, when we do running biomechanics, we focus more on using the Achilles tendon over here. So this one. So you run like that. Yeah. So right. So a lot of people don't realize that, you know, for most consumers, whenever they buy shoes, it's usually about the color, how fancy it looks like. But there's a lot of engineering that goes into uh, running. You see the ridges over here, these are the, they call them energy bands or whatnot. But these ones are the ones that keep your planter, fast planter, stable. This one is made from real rubber tire from Continental, so they're, uh, they last longer. But the most important part of the shoe is that, that's the magic. Okay, that's why when you look at the sprinters, uh, most of the fast runners, they don't run like this. So this one is really prevalent to most newbie runners and this is what they call heel striking. And that's the reason why a lot of shoe manufacturers right now try to make this as thick as possible instead of teaching runners how to run naturally, which is like this. And you can test this. Uh, when, you, when you find your niece, a five-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old, ask them to run, instantly they run like this. They never run like that. We only learned how to run like this when we we're adults and started to buy fancy rubber shoes. So that's how it works out. So that's uh, running biomechanics. So it's not just about cycling biomechanics, there's also biomechanics in running. So we always suggest that before you get into running, you can contact us. We'll teach you how to do the running properly, uh, attend some race camp, attend some uh, training camps, and then uh, you'll be injury free for the next many years. Okay, so that's running 101 for us. This is a very good visual representation of a very good running gait. A very biomechanically efficient where you use your um, Achilles tendon. Remember the Achilles tendon was designed by nature for us to really be running, not the quads. And in a slow motion shot, this is how it looks like. Our Achilles tendon was developed for thousands of years to make us very efficient in running. And in a very quick snapshot, look at the Achilles tendon as it absorbs and rebounds the feet for acceleration. There are very specific shoes that were designed to really focus on the Achilles tendon activation. Because uh, if you look at any child, that's how they run. Check it out. <laughs> 